Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Vermont Catamounts and the Marquette Golden Eagles. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Golden Eagles are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for him tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Second of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Lastly, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Receives the pass. Gets a hand in the way. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Good job defensively. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, perfectly executed. Got the high pick for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The dribble gives it up, tries for two, perfectly executed. Gave it up, jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Down inside, goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. inferior play is really affecting his composure now. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. He puts up the tray. Carpenter isn't getting much help from his teammates, but he is managing to get things done himself. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Now trying to feed the low block. This is just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Double team now, bad angle. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Carter handles the pass. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. From the baseline. Tickles a twine. That's a 7-0 run. The center, he gets the rejection. Palm handles the feed. He keeps his dribble as they reset. They go into the low block. The skip pass is picked off. Working it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there.
The ball goes out of bounds. Danielson is feeling great out there right now. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Carter, pump fakes. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. That's good. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Sinks it. Trying to feed the low block. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Messler. Nice to have you along with us. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. And the ball goes out of bounds. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City, though, always really the gate. Any offense. Looking for the foul. That's a 7 nothing run. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Nice high post screen. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He's going nowhere. Going ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He may be in trouble here, Brad. Uh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's piled with a ball with a duck. Where's he going? Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. That spin move not successful, Dick. I'll tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Marquette have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They work the perimeter. Here's a double team. He takes the shot off the baseline. Nice shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He's got an open look for the shot. He tries the three ball. He gets that one to fall. Offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Entry pass in the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For two, Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the dribble, gives it up. There's a double team waiting there. 
stolen away. He makes a nice shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much muster, Dan. Vermont are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Onto the floor. On the inside. There's the pick. There's the roll. It sticks. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For the bucket, can't get the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Inside. He intercepts it. In all alone. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Buchanan wants even more support from the fans, Dick. He wants the crowd excited for this offensive possession. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Goes for the deep one. Makes the shot. From three-point territory. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Glad I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The ball goes out of play. for two and off the mark now they work it around the perimeter I tell you, nothing like having those legs man where you bounce right off the floor tempo of the game really important here you want to establish some good tempo Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Erin? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Erin. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. And he'll kick it back outside. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He hits the shot. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. The ball goes out of bounds. The dribble gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. And they get the turnover. Looking for a good shot. For two. Doesn't go. Picked off. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Taken away. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. And he missed. Basket falls despite the contact. In the paint. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. Moving it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. Too much. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from long range. That was nice. From right in the circle, drops it in from long range. Oh, we got to replay that one. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. He nails the shot. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He shoots from the baseline. 
Way off target. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. the shot Dick not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket not quick enough and a great reaction by the defensive post player Marquette are showing signs of a good run here Dick they look like they put it together for a moment hey let's see how long they can keep it up Shots there if he wants it. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Stolen away. On the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He tries the three. Knocks it down. Takes away the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Now they work it around the perimeter. Launches the three. These boys are tearing it up behind the arc right now, Dick. They've got them at their mercy with the threes, Brad. I think right now they're going to focus defensively. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the lazy pass. Two for one opportunity. And the ball goes out of bounds. Up and inside. Wide open for the shot. From right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. The Catamounts are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Free throw is good. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And it goes in. At the end of the first half, the Catamounts are ahead by two. Best play of that half. Let's take another look.
Marquette carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coaching staff must be livid right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. The Catamounts are ahead by five. Dumps it in for the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Watch out. Five second call approaching. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Drains the shot. And working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The power forward gets the pass for two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to go. Fakes the jumper. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. From right of the circle. Way off target. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. On the outside. Jumped in front to take it away. The ball goes out of bounds. Nick has that backcourt comparison shaping up, even. Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Too much time in the lane. If it ain't there, move, young man. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. There they come with a double team to stop it. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. The center with the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes.
goes to the free throw line. Just like in practice. That's a seven zip run. Buries it. moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Stolen ball. Goes up for two. Marquette are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. floor and a momentary look from three-point land on the dribble gives it up they work the perimeter he's got some room he tries the three great shot that's a 13 nothing run Steals a pass for the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He drains it. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, Flop City! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. There's the trap. From the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a screen on top and got it. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He hits the first. They scored seven in a row. And he got them both. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. And now there's a whistle in the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Looking for a good shot. High post flashes. In the post. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. execution goes home with the big W. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. 
And the ball goes out of bounds. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. Steal. Now they work it around the perimeter. The center gets the ball. Here's a double team. Facing. The shooting guard takes the pass. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Up fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Marquette are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Accepts it. The point guard takes the feed. They work it around the perimeter. He takes a three. He gets the bucket to fall. The Golden Eagles lead by six. Gave it up. Great defense. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Now they'll bring it up. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Two perfectly executed. The Catamounts are trailing by six. Goes up for two. Vermont are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. run it up into transition for the deuce he puts it in with contact and all on the outside that was a high post screen goes to the lane doesn't go goes up for two and off the mark. Up and inside. Working it around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He gets it to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way off target. Gave it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Fakes the shot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. 
Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the outside, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have to break respects and say, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Obvious foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. For the bucket. In and out. Steals the ball. For two. Finger roll. Replay of the night, baby. executed looking for a good shot he gives him the fake picks off the lazy pass tries for two great play to take that to the basket Comes away with it. And now it's coast to coast the other way. And look out. Gets it to fall. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble. Gives it up. He unloads a three. Oh, yes. There's the fake. Pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Marquette are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Takes it off him, and the ball goes out of play. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. He takes the shot off the baseline. He drains the shot. The Catamounts trail by nine. And a momentary look from three-point land. Jumps into the defender. We'll get another look at it. Moving it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Top of the circle there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He rejects it. The ball goes out of bounds. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. 
Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. The Golden Eagles have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Three to come. Makes his first. He makes the second shot. Misses the third shot for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's slow it down on the replay. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Owen draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Take it away. And then coming the other way, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Now the kick out. He puts up the tray. Got it. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two, perfectly executed. High post screen, gonna use it. Finger roll. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Making his presence felt with a block. They work the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. Way out on top, controlling the ball. It's stolen. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Pushes it up. Steals the pass. Working it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Gave it up. They're working around the arc. 
He's trying to fire himself up out there, Brad. I think he's trying to inspire himself to turn things up a notch. He is fired up. On the dribble, gives it up. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Aaron's right about that. Three-pointer. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. coming here partner I'm not going anywhere offensively this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here Dick I'll tell you, it's time to start fouling in order to stop the clock It's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. It. They need to score here to turn this to a one possession game. Shot clock is dead. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Foul them early and give your team a chance. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Makes his second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. He fires away. No good. Sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Marquette played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first-round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.